All right, hello, welcome to another tutorial video. Today, we're gonna build a GPT bot for your website trained on your own data and deploy it within like five to 10 minutes. And all of this requires no coding whatsoever. The app we're using for this is called GPT Trainer. And as you can see from the data about its web traffic, it's really new. So if you're here, you're one of the early ones. So buckle up, let's get into it. First, what you wanna do is to like sign in or sign up. It's already logged into my account. And once you're logged in, you're gonna create a new chatbot. So you're just gonna see here on the left. And then this is gonna be a sample bot, which is gonna which you're going to see. Click here, don't worry about it. And then you have a few onboarding things. You can read them if you want, or you can skip through them because we're gonna go through most of them right now very quickly. So here you the screen here. The first one here is basically uh settings for you to establish your chatbot. And second here is going to be your data. This could be files, Google Drive, website, or Q&A. So, you know, whatever you want to link as the knowledge base, like as the brain of your chat GPT, you can add it here. Let's get started. First step we got to do is add our data sources. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly put in a PDF, which has basically all my research and all my experience on how to create TikToks. And those who don't know yet, I create TikToks and Instagram Reels as Digital Samaritan. I've got like close to 700,000 followers and I've been doing that for two and a half years now. So I'm just gonna input that file and add it right here. Oops, um, I guess I have to select it manually. So I'm gonna do that here and begin my upload. We're just gonna wait for this upload to finish. All right, it's good to go. Okay, now we have our data sources configured. Let's quickly build our bot. You can leave the bot configurations as is for now. We'll get back to it. Let's start with prompt down here. This is basically your base prompt, kind of like custom instructions that you now have in ChatGPT. Just giving bot a context into what this topic is and how they need to think. I mean, basically, you know, think about it this way that this bot is using open AI, like the chat GPT with your contextual data to give answers to the users. So we can just change this to, I want you to role play as a TikTok coach. Since my example, we are using TikTok growth guide as a knowledge base that uh, for, for the chat bot. You will provide me with answers from the given context. If the answer is not included, just say, sorry. Again, you can customize this as you see fit. And the next section here is collecting customer information. So depending on your use case, what you're using it for, lead generation, just knowledge, you can choose to add custom field or select other data that you want to collect from your user. For this example, to keep things simple, we are going to not collect any customer information. And now we have a chat interface. As you can see here, as you edit these things over here, you can visually see what your chat interface is going to look like. The initial message here is like, hi, what can I help you with? And here we have the initial message. You can customize and then auto show initial messages after leave it as is. We don't really have to go fancy with that. Now we have something called suggested messages. I really like this option because if people don't know what to expect from this chatbot, this could act as a guiding principle. For example, we can ask a few suggested messages. Since we're talking TikTok here, how to write TikTok hooks. And that could be one suggested question. The second could be any, what are your best growth tips? It's hard to write when there's pressure of the camera. So I'm just gonna correct this quickly. So you just do a line break and you see these are two predefined questions that user can click on to get those answers quickly. And then some cosmetic stuff, the theme, dark or light, any colors you want to edit. And that's pretty much it. Like, you know, you can customize the settings, you know, whichever way you want. And then we're gonna hit save. Once we hit save, our chatbot is saved. And now let's go to the top. Here it's asking us if we want the visibility to be private, public, or hybrid. If you want the customer or like this bot to be public facing or customer facing, I would make this public. And this domain is not necessary unless you want to host this chatbot just on a specific website. But if you're embedding this into your website, you can leave this as is or whatever the default was. Now we're gonna hit apply chatbot. Yeah, we're ready to go. That's pretty much it. You can embed it on a website and you're gonna get this code, which you can add for a chat bubble or for a page. All you have to do is just like copy this code and paste it to your website and you will see it there. Or, okay, let's do this again. Or you can just connect it to any of these website builders. It's gonna do exact same thing, except it just might be more cookie cutter approach. Um, let's test the bot. Let's test the bot here. We have our test bot, which is exactly what we did. And there's some credits. 
based on the free plan. So let's just start with a bubble sample question. I'm just gonna say how to write TikTok hooks. And now I'm getting answers about TikTok hooks along with you know the reference where this is coming from based on my content data that I've provided. Uh, and then these answers are really good because like this is exactly the examples I used in the document. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much your chatbot. You know, you can add it to your website. You can use it to manage your clients, you know, provide them more information convert more leads, add more value to your audience. And this was super easy to do. Let me know what other tutorial you want to see next. I'll see you at the next one.